So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. And I am also going to check out that diagram before reading anything, just so my mind can wrap itself around what's going on. So it looks like we have some type of ball here that is being dropped from a height of X feet. We don't know the actual height, but we do know that it's falling at 32 feet per second, right? And we have the ground here. So it seems pretty straightforward. The information provided here says when a ball is thrown straight down with an initial speed of 32 feet per second, the ball hits the ground and bounces up. The equation y equals one half x plus eight, and I always rewrite the equation that's provided to me. So the equation y equals one half x plus eight represents the relationship between the ball's initial height x in feet and the maximum height y in feet that the ball reaches after bouncing once. Okay, that is good to know. So x is the initial height and y is the height after it bounces, the maximum height after it bounces back up. So the question here for number 14 says, if the initial height is 24 feet, so that means if x equals 24, what is the maximum height in feet the ball reaches after bouncing once? Well, basically, if x is equal to 24, then what does y equal? So we take this and we just plug in 24. So we have y equals 1 half. Instead of x, I replace that with 24 plus 8. 1 half of 24 is 12. So I have 12 plus 8. And 12 plus 8 is 20, right? So we have y equals 20. 20 represents that maximum height and feet after the bounce. And therefore, our correct answer here is choice C.